15. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in Him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through Him and for Him. That's good. I can't stop there, but that's good. Verse 17, He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. He is the head of the body of the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything He might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all His fullness dwell in Him, and through Him to reconcile to Himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through His blood shed on the cross. Verse 21, and this should encourage a lot of people today. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now He has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in His sight without blemish and free from accusation. In the first three verses, we are uh, reminded that Jesus is the originator of everything. Jesus is the creator of the world. Now, a lot of us, we can forget this because when we think of Jesus, we think of long hair, we think of tie-dye t-shirts, and he's chilling with the disciples on earth. And that is the person of Jesus, but Jesus was in fact a part of the Holy Trinity that in right in the beginning of the world, he was the agent of creation. He was the one who spoke light and life and and earth and abundance into the world. He created absolutely everything. And then when we can understand that Jesus was, in fact, a part of creation and what that entails, what there's over 7 billion people on earth today, how many billions of people have walked the planet earth, how many billions of galaxies are in the world, how many different species of animal, how many different things, natural disasters, uh, wonders of the world, do we come across new things that are being discovered? Jesus was the author and the creator of all of these things. We begin to start understanding and, and, and formulating a better picture an idea of who Jesus is. It says in John 1 verse 1, in the beginning the Word already existed. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Let me tell you something. Nothing takes Jesus by surprise. Absolutely nothing. We can turn on the news channel. Our heart can beat a little bit faster. That anxiety button can can get you going when you see things that are different, when you see pandemics, when you see volcanic eruptions, when you see genocide, when you see war break out. This is all things that can make us freak out a little bit, but there is absolutely nothing that takes Jesus by surprise. He doesn't look down on earth and see that COVID-19 has a new variant and be like, whoa, (laughs) what's that? (laughs) He doesn't do that. Jesus is the author and the originator of absolutely everything. He is the creator of the world as we know it. Nothing takes him by surprise. And there's two questions that are being asked in this passage in verse 16. And uh, the verse in verse 16 says this, everything was created through him and for him. And we can answer these two questions. The questions are this, does my life matter and why am I here? The verse says this, everything was created through him and for him. Now we ask the question, does my life matter? matter. Well, what gives your life purpose? A lot of people think that my life gets purpose based on my accolades, based on my achievements, based on uh, the money that I make, or, or really how far am I ahead of the people that I'm doing life with. If I look across, if I look on Instagram, if I look on Facebook, does my life matter? Well, let me just check the indicators and the markers of what makes my life matter, and then I can tell you if I'm succeeding or not. I can tell you if my life matters or not. But the Scripture says something different. It says that everything was created through Him. Now, when I understand that everything was created through Him, I begin to understand that my life's purpose, whether my life matters or not, is not based on what I do or what I can achieve. My life matters because of whose I am, not who I am. The fact that you were created by God gives your life purpose. The fact that you're created by Jesus gives your life meaning. It gives your life success. It gives your life something worth living. The greatest lie that the enemy can begin to feed and sow into your life, that you haven't done enough to earn purpose. You haven't done enough to be seen as successful, but your life is already successful. You already have purpose. You already have meaning when you understand that I was created by Jesus. Psalm 139 says that he knitted you together, the innermost 
gross parts in your mother's womb. You are carefully and wonderfully made. But the biggest lie that we can believe going into 2022 is that I was a mistake. I've messed up. I've gotten things wrong. As soon as you lose air, as soon as you stop breathing, then it's done. But if you have got air in your lungs today, if you're sitting in a chair in this church, God isn't done with you. The plan for your life is still well in place regardless of what you've done. Your life matters because Jesus created you. Your life matters because of whose you are, not who you are. And then we ask the question, well, why am I here? Verse 16 goes on to say that we are created through him and for him. The why you're here firstly is to have relationship with Jesus. That's the deal. We think about purpose, we think about job, we think about who am I supposed to marry, who am I supposed to be with one day, and we start to knit together the reasons why we're here. The main and first and foremost reason that we're on planet earth is to have relationship with Jesus, and in a relationship with Jesus, we begin to find out things about ourselves, the things that we're good at, the gifts that he has placed inside of our hearts what he's called us to do to extend the kingdom of God. And once we begin to understand these gifts, we begin to see the role that we play in extending the kingdom of God, the role that we were made. You're not in your family by coincidence. You're not in your job by coincidence. You're not in the place where you find yourself right now by chance. God could not think of a better person to put in that specific situation to extend the kingdom of God than you. Sometimes we can look and be like, everybody around me is crazy. Everybody around me doesn't get it. I don't feel like I fit in. God says you are the perfect person in this specific situation to extend the kingdom of God, to share the gospel message of people. But we can never get to a place of understanding exactly why we're supposed to be here if it doesn't start in a relationship with God. Does that make sense? That is the first point of call. Stop looking for purpose in in work or, or good decisions financially or in a spouse. That stuff makes sense and it's important and it's a part of life. But the meaning comes for your life when I'm first in relationship with God, and then he begins to reveal the other things later on. What I also love about this passage is it talks about in verse 17, that everything is sustained through Jesus, the creator. Now that's encouraging because God is not an absentee. Jesus is not an absentee creator. He didn't create everything and then just be like, cool, I'm out. (laughs) Good luck with that. (laughs) Good luck with all of the stuff that you're going to find yourself in. It says that Jesus is the sustainer of the world. That means that the sun doesn't rock, oh, excuse me, the sun doesn't rise or set without his permission, without him being a part of it. You don't breathe a single breath without Jesus being right in the middle of it. He is the sustainer of all creation. Sometimes we can feel like we're alone or abandoned, or that we're having to do life by ourselves, the scripture says that Jesus is with us in every single moment. Even in the darkest moments, you are not alone. Jesus sustains you. 